Hi. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello. New day, new class. <laughs> How's it going? How's everybody? Doing fine? Yeah. Hi. Yes, nice. Awesome. Today is Wednesday. No, oh, Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> no, Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. Today is Thursday. Thursday, May. Night. The night. 19th or the 19th of May. That's right. Yes. Let's see. This is our class number 13. 13. That's 13. right. <laughs> it's all right. No problems. Today is Thursday, May 19th, and we have the class number 13. Yeah. All right. So, only ladies. Oh, the single ladies in this class. <laughs> <laughs> now, everybody's married, or we still have single ladies? Single ladies. Single ladies. Single ladies. Here. Here. <laughs> Present. <laughs> okay. Nice. No children? No. Me no. No. And <laughs> <laughs> Celia. <laughs> what happened? Only Gracias two, Thank God. Only Thank you, two, God. <laughs> two dogs that are expensive. Very yes. expensive. <laughs> I know. This is a funny class, actually. <laughs> because we have a lot in common. Uh -huh. <laughs> Many things in common. Okay. Uh, Concepcion, you, you are a mom, right? You mm -hmm. have child? One or two? A child. One, a boy or a girl? No. A girl. How old is she? Um, 14. 14? Oh my God. She's a young lady too. Wow. One and that's it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Long time ago. <laughs> she made her decision clear. <laughs> okay. Nice. Wow, that's so nice of you sharing. Okay, today's class, yes. We have an interesting topic actually. Remember that yesterday and the day before yesterday, we were talking about information question, right? Right. How, when, where, why, how many. What time? Okay, so all these are information questions. But today's class is mainly about what time? What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to work? What time do you start working? So we ask questions directly to the person that we're talking to. But what time do you? But if we talk about somebody else, we say, what time does he, what time does she, yes? What time do they, what time do we? So it depends of the person that we are asking about, okay? So that's something we're going to do tonight, okay? Well, somebody says, somebody says it would be just as a listener because he or she is driving. All right, great. So today's Thursday, May 19th. We already said this in the video conference or the class is gonna be the class 13. Oh my God, <laughs> after 10, everything goes fast. Then 14, tomorrow will be the class number 14. 
Yes, and for the next week, we almost finished. So at the end of this class, you are going to be able to, so participants will be able to ask for and say the time of activities at our workplace. At our workplace means the place where we work, okay? So this is mainly the objective and that's the topic. All right, the attendance, yeah. <laughs> I almost forget. Okay, attendance, attendance. All right, Miss Norma Patricia, not here. Present. Oh my God, hello. Present. Hello, hello, how are hello. you? Hello, <laughs> I am here. Okay, hello. thank you. I'm good. How was yesterday? You didn't have electricity. I sick. I was sick. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that. Okay, thank you. Miss Celia, of course. Present. Here. Claudia. Present. Concepcion. Present. Damaris. Damaris Eunice. Renderos. Not here. Elsie Milagro. Present. Yes. <laughs> Ever Alexander. Not here yet. Iris. Iris Liliana. Not yet. Oh my goodness. Joanna Michelle. No, I don't see Joanna Michelle anywhere. Okay, Juan Ramon. Present. Hi, Judith. Hi. Judith Anami. Judith. Oh my God, Judith has problems probably. Is struggling? No. Okay. All right. Judith is Hi, present. Hi. All right. Carla Sofia. Present. Lisette Amariles. Present. Hello. Marcela. Hello, present. Hi, Mariana. Hi, present. Hi, Marina. Jancy. <laughs> present. Hello, Mirna. Hello. Miss Mirna. Not here tonight. Monica. Monica, Monica. No, tonight. Tania. Not yet. And Raquel. Present. Hi. All right. Okay. Nice. Well, let's come back to the presentation. As I mentioned today, we are going to practice a lot of questions with what time okay what time do you what time does he what time does she so usually we practice with the clock with the watch right so we learn to say the time yes and let me share the screen again mm -hmm. we say how to use questions with what time that is the topic all right and let's get started. We have these activities, and I bet you already know this vocabulary. <laughs> okay, so we have practiced these activities before. We have what time, oh, sorry, get up, have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner, go to bed, go home. When you finish work, when you finish classes, you usually say, I go home, okay? So we're going to try to draw 
I know sometimes it's hard to draw, but we're gonna try to do it. What is the first picture? Uh huh. Get up. Get up. Get up. All right. So we're gonna have a drawing here. Okay. Uh huh. The second one. Half breakfast. It would be half breakfast at 8 a.m. All right. Uh-huh. Next one. Go home. Go, Go home. home. Yes. Okay. That would be go home. All right. That's why. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Right. We usually have lunch at 12, at 12.30, 12 at 1, right? Some people have a little bit uh, late, their lunch. Uh -huh. This one? Go to, Go to bed. bed. <laughs> okay. Go to bed. Go to bed. And have a dinner. And have a dinner. Have dinner. Okay, so we usually say we have dinner with our family sometimes, okay, yes, okay, so this is just to practice some of the vocabulary, okay, remember, you can ask your partner, what time do you get up, what time do you have lunch, what time do you go home, what time do you have uh, what time do you have breakfast what time do you have lunch what time do you have dinner what time do you go to bed okay you can ask this question right so right now let's ask some people here in the class let's start with concepcion what time do you get up during the week during the week i I get up at 5 a.m. 5, all right, nice. The weekend, not because, you know, the weekend people are sleeping. <laughs> Just during the week. Yes. Yeah, so on the weekend, I don't get up. <laughs> I don't, but I get up early. It's still early. Okay, so let's see. Let's continue with Carla. What time do you usually have breakfast during the week? Uh, I usually take a, have a, break, a breakfast at the 7 a.m. At 7, okay. I usually have breakfast at 7 during the week. At 7 a.m. Nice. Okay, let's see. Let's continue with Raquel. What time do you go home when you finish work? <laughs> I, I go home at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Wow. Yes. You finish late. Yes. Oh, my God. Let's see, Norma, what time do you usually have lunch? Uh, one o'clock. Okay, complete sentence? Yes. Sometimes. Okay, I sometimes have lunch at one o'clock. Repeat. Okay, um, sometimes I have my lunch at one o'clock. All right, sometimes I have my lunch at one o'clock. That's right. Okay, Milagro. What time do you usually go to bed during the week? I usually uh, go to bed uh, at midnight. <laughs> All right, nice. At midnight. Okay. And Mr. Escalante, what time do you usually have dinner? Hi. Uh, I usually I uh, dinner um, seven seven At seven p.m. 30? Mm -hmm. seven seven thirty. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. it depends. When I prepare yeah. <laughs> dinner, I eat 
<laughs> late. <laughs> yes, it happens. When I buy pupusas, I eat earlier. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it happens, it happens. Don't worry. Okay. Let's see. We're going to try to go to the next slide. Let's see if we are allowed. Oh, no. Wait a second. I think we have to delete everything. <laughs> okay. Great. All right. So this is just some of the ideas we're going to be using to ask questions. Okay. But right now we're going to finish. Okay, of course, this is how the, I'm sorry, this is how the manual, how, how your, your manual presented, right? The questions. Where do you work? This is the name of the, of the unit, but how to use questions with what time? What time is it? It's 1.08, it says here. Give me just one second, I just need to. All right. So let me share the screen again. Okay, so what time is it? It's the normal question or the usual question we ask when we want to know the time. What time is it right now? Mm -hmm. um, 820. 820. 8.20, 8.20, yes. It's okay. All right, nice. All right, nice. So what time is it? It's the question that we ask when we want to know the time, of course. What time does the meeting start? Here, the subject of the question is the meeting. The meeting is something, it's a situation, right? So the question is, what time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? About or at about, you can say at, but it's optional, okay? At about 6.48 a.m. Oh my God, that's really early. What time do employees leave? Employees leave uh, they usually leave around 7 or 7.30. So this is how the manual presents the questions with what time, okay? So you can check there in your material. All right. As I was mentioning before, we miss some of the exercises. Before, before we um, continue, with the question, with what time? Remember that we were studying information question, right? What, where, which, what time? Do you remember? Yes? Okay, information questions. What, where, which, what time? These are some of the information questions, of course. Okay, let's see. Carla, can you read the first question, please? Uh, perdón. What does she do on Saturday and Sunday? Very good. What does she do on Saturday and Sunday? The answer, Miss Carla? Uh, she visits other companies and has meetings. Very good. She visits other companies and has meetings. Nice. Claudia? Where does he go on Tuesday afternoon? Where does he go on Tuesdays afternoons? And the answer, Miss Claudia? He goes to the company's headquarters. Okay, he goes to the company's headquarters. Headquarters. Okay, headquarters is como las, las oficinas principales, ¿no? como las instalaciones, las donde está la gran mayoría de las de las oficinas de una compañía. Esos son los headquarters, ¿ok? Como una casa matriz. Una central. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Those are the translation. <laughs> exactly. Ok, nice. 
Marcela. Which department does our boss supervise? Which department does our boss supervise? Uh -huh. Our boss supervises the marketing department. Okay, our boss supervises the marketing department. That's right. Okay, let's see. Jancy? What time does Miguel start to work? What time does Miguel start to work? And the answer? Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. That's right. Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. All right. This is only refresh. Remember. Eso es lo que hemos estado viendo. Eso lo estoy, eso estamos haciendo nada más como repaso, ¿ok? Porque el tema principal de la clase de hoy es hacer questions with what time. Pero como what time es una de las information questions que hemos estado viendo, vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Vamos a practicar, obviously, este es como nuestro patrón, ¿verdad? Cómo se formulan las information questions. What do or does. En este caso, todas las questions que están acá tienen... Does. ¿Por qué? Porque el sujeto es he or she or it. Yes, he, she, it. We use the auxiliary does. And in the answer, también le agregamos es or es al verbo. Okay. What does she do on Saturday and Sunday? She visits our other companies and has meetings. Where does he go on Tuesday afternoons? He goes to the company's headquarters. Which department does our boss supervise? Our boss supervises the marketing department. What time does Miguel start to work? Miguel starts to work at 9 o'clock. Yes? Hay alguna question? O algo que surja en este momento que no nos hayamos dado cuenta? Something that comes up? Mm -hmm. No? Clear? Refresh? All right. Perfect. Bye. Entonces, hoy vamos a practicar justo lo que acabamos de ver en la lámina anterior, creando questions, ¿ok? Con esas palabras. ¿Qué es lo que nos haría falta? Vamos a ver quién ya identificó eso. El auxiliary. El auxiliary, exactly. That's all. Perfect. Bueno, lo vamos a trabajar in pairs o in small groups y luego nos lo vamos, cuando regresemos lo vamos a comparar, of course. Entonces, five groups. Creo que van a quedar como de three. Yes, three, 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 and three. And you can rewrite. Pueden escribir las, las questions para que las tengan Ahí ya resueltas, ok? Here we go. Ok. La primera que quedaría, why does he have a meeting? Ajá. Why has? Why does? No. Das. Why does, perdón. Das. <risa> oh, pero sería has, ¿verdad? No. No, porque estás haciendo la auxiliar das, porque es pregunta. Cuando es pregunta, no cambiar. El have. Ajá. Solo cuando es respuesta. Why does... Y como lo antepone el das, eso lo. Eso, no lo, eso hace que no lo cambie. Uh -huh. Bueno. Una, dos. Where. Ah, y hay que corresponder, ¿verdad? No, solo dice que creas la pregunta con ah, las palabras. 
Mm -hmm. uh, where does también? Mm -hmm. Where does mm -hmm. where does she, she process? The pain. Uh, what does igual, verdad? Mm -hmm. What does Ingrid do on week on Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Ingrid. Tercero, when employer acquire the raw material. When do? When do? When? What does it acquire? Adquirir. 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 Sí, porque no sé si porque ajá, ajá o, o se le agrega la S al have no what no sé si sería correcto agregarle la S a Hub. O es. Creería que es Has. Has. Has a meeting. Has a meeting. Bye. Entonces, la segunda sería What does she the payment process con yes el process y porque lleva auxiliar y es tercera persona process the payment El tres. Bueno, es como que, eh, como empleado de arquitectura, como Juan, when do empleas? Ad, no, adquiere, pero son las arquitecturas, adquiere, que es adquiere. <risa> Estamos asumiendo. Miss. Oh, wow. Teacher. ¿Dónde está? Pensé que estaba. Sí, yo te, pero yes. no, no sé. Sí, ahí está. Tell me. Uh, what, what is acquired? Acquired. 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 Adquirir. Ah. ¿Qué es? Sí, ¿Qué es? Adquirir. Ah, sí, entonces dale, cuando... Yeah. ¿Cuándo los empleados van a adquirir el materia prima? Uh -huh. Entonces okay. habla de ellos. When? When do? When do they? No. Mm, pero no sé si vamos a agregar de solo when do employees. Employees, ese? Sí, when, when do employees. Uh -huh. When do? Oh, pero es employee, solo es uno. 
Ah, ah, si tuvieran a ese, ahí sí serían varios empleados. Ok. When do employ employees? When does, when does the employee acquire the raw material? Nosotros uh -huh. Y si la ya lo, ahí lo mandé. Uh -huh. That's why he how admitting. Ya creo que no, no tendría necesidad de, de llevar el apóstol. No, sería Pero, solo, does he have a meeting? Le quitamos entonces el... el ¿sí? Ajá. Ah, vaya. Pero es que la primero creo que va la pregunta, o sea, ¿por qué luego va el auxiliar? No, ajá, aquí usted puso primero el das why he have, he have a meeting. Sí, ajá. Entonces sería Lick. primero la pregunta. No, no está la Lick aquí en el grupo. Hello. Hola, hello, Lick. Este, aquí hay una duda, este, ¿verdad? Aquí en, en la, las oraciones que vamos a hacer, creo que solo falta el auxiliar. Right. Y el auxiliar va después del pronombre si no me equivoco o antes va de antes el pronombre va después de la palabra what, Ay, when, sí. where, why entonces digamos sería why does he uh -huh. así sería uh -huh. Ameri, porque solo el das es el que vamos a agregar en esta verdad right, exactly okay. uh -huh. gracias All right. you're welcome vaya chicas entonces la oración sería Why does Porque he... tiene una reunión. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. He have a meeting. Entonces. Va primero siempre el, el, ¿cómo se llama? La pregunta sería aquí, why, en este caso. Sería así entonces. Ajá, entonces solo vamos a agregar el das. We does, ajá, correcto. Entonces, la segunda es where. She process does, does, process the payment. Payment. Esa es la segunda. Entonces sería where. Where. Donde sería la respuesta. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer sería where does. Does she process process the pay, payment? Where where does she process she, the payment? She process the what? La tercera. Ingrid, do guardas. No, 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 no. Sería la tercera entonces. What siempre. Ingrid? What? Uh -huh. What does? What? Das. Entonces acá. What do? What? What? This? Vamos a ver esta, pero. Where she when process the Vamos ahorita por la cuarta, ¿verdad? Sí. Sería siempre bueno. Entonces la, ter la otra sería, ¿qué hace Ingrid los miércoles? Entonces sería, what does, what does, what does she, 
What does Ingrid sería? Porque sería ella. What does Ingrid? On Wednesday. What does? What do you? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do on weekends? On Wednesday. Qué verdad. Dar el pago. Vamos a ver. No, sería entregar el pago. Vamos a ver. Sí. Pero ¿y entregar? ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, deliver, no, no puede ser deliver. No. Deliver the payment. Payment. Deliver. deliver. Sí, sí, delivery the payment. Si es que es eso. Ajá. Asumiendo la respuesta. It can be possible. Si lo van a ir a dejar, puede ser. Deliver the payment. Oh, okay. Or send. Ah, ah. Yes. <laughs> um, we had a question. Yes. Because. Mm, ahí hasta ahí quedé. <laughs> ¿Por qué tenemos on? ¿Cuándo es un on? Why? Why do we have on? Cuando se trata de días. On. Ah, on okay. Monday, ah. On Tuesday. On Wednesday. Ya. Cuando. También. Ya. También aplica para días de semana, días de fin de semana, on weekdays, on weekend. Pero, por ejemplo, digo, si es lunes, on Monday. On no, Monday. Sería, no sería in Monday. No. Siempre va a ser no sería on. Sí, sí, Monday. Okay. Siempre va a ser on con los días, pero también cuando se quiera referir a los días de la semana. Cuando se dice, uh -huh. ah, es días de semana, on weekdays. O oh, cuando okay. dice, ah, en fines de semana, on weekends. On weekends. Uh -huh. Y siempre, siempre, solo en ese en momento se usa el on. No, realmente el on es una preposición de tiempo y de lugar. Para de tiempo siempre va a ser uh, con los días y con los, con los, con los grupos de días, por decir algo, cuando decimos on weekends uh -huh. o on weekdays. Y cuando sea como periodos más pequeños del día, por ejemplo, la mañana, la tarde, va a ser in, in the morning, in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Y esas son las preposiciones, in, on, at. Sobre todo oh, las, que, las, que okay. tienen, las que tienen más a confundirse porque pueden ser de tiempo o de lugar. Y esa la vamos a ver. Yes. Ay, qué bueno. Porque también yo me confundo en cuándo vamos a usar el at. A veces me confunde el eso, at, vamos a at para tiempo siempre es como para la hora específica at seven ah, at four sí. at six cuando vamos a decir una hora o sea no es en la mañana sino que es una hora más más exacta entonces digo at four at six at seven at two at three at three thirty at four twenty Okay. You finished you. already. You're welcome. Finished. Yes. All right. Sí, Perfect. sí, sí. Hasta respuesta le estaba inventando. <laughs> All right. Finish. Yes. Great. Yes. Great. Great. Veamos. ¿Cómo nos quedó? Ajá. ¿Qué tenemos por acá? The first question, ¿cómo nos quedó? Why does he have a meeting? Why does he have a meeting? Yes, por ahí escuché que alguien está, está creando la respuesta. <risa> And that's nice, that is good. Ajá, si usted dice, ¿por qué tiene una reunión? Because uh -huh. I need information. 
I need, pero en este caso, como digo, ¿Qué? él, pues ah, okay. he. Y la respuesta de la uno sería. Bueno. Uh -huh. Why does he have a meeting? Because he needs some information. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. he, he has mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. news. <laughs> Because he has to report mm -hmm. something. Yes, because, mm -hmm. because he needs to make a decision. Cualquier cosa y la razón pueden ser muy variadas. Okay, number two. Mm -hmm. Where does she process the payments? Okay, where does she process? Oh, process the payment. Uh -huh. Okay, where does she process payment? Possible answer? Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Porque por acá me, me salté el auxilio justamente. Where does she process the payment? Mm -hmm. Possible answers would be. Donde procesamos los pagos? She process payment in the bank. She process the payments in a bank. Right? In a bank agency. Right. Okay, number three. What? What does Ingrid? Ingrid. Oh. What does Ingrid? On oh. Wednesday. <laughs> what does Ingrid do? Aquí falta el verbo hacer. What does Ingrid do? On Wednesday. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Los miércoles. ¿Qué hace Ingrid los miércoles? Ajá. Me dejo poner el, el question mark. Here is the cosa there. One more time. What does ingredient mention that como ingredients do on Wednesday? <laughs> on Wednesday. On Wednesday, there is a question mark acá. Mm -hmm. Possible answer? What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? Um, she she delivers the payment. She delivers the payment. <laughs> she writes a report. The she has a meeting. Ah, yeah. <laughs> mm, true. Uh -huh. <laughs> She supervises the plans, she supervises the production, she checks the material, she takes inventory, whatever, right? Then bueno. the last one, when? Yes. When Ingrid. does employer acquire mm -hmm. the raw employee. material? When does employee, employee. acquire? Employer. This is a different word in English, right? Choir. Choir. The okay. raw material. Raw material. Okay. So, material. Material girl. Material. <laughs> okay. When does employee acquire the raw material? Mm -hmm. He acquires the raw material on Fridays. Okay. On Tuesdays, on Mondays, right? That could be possible. Okay. Done. No problems. 
No questions? No, no questions. Okay, perfect. Let me see. I want to share with you the manual. Let's just find it right here. It's right here. Okay. Let me just okay, share the screen. And here we have. Okay, this is the exercise that we just completed. And here it says it's your turn. Okay, create a conversation with two partners about the daily activities at work. Then ask questions for extra information about someone else's duties. Let's see, what do you do on weekdays? On weekdays, the semana, right? That's why at the beginning I also ask, what time do you go to bed on weekdays? Yes? So what do you do on weekdays? I start to work at one o'clock. I prepare the machines and Wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, he checks once a month. And what do you do? And what about you? What do you do? Well, I fix the computers. I, I answer phone calls. I make inventory, whatever you do, right? So this is a conversation. It's a, I mean, the manual suggests to do the conversation in a group of three. But I consider we can do this same conversation in pairs, all right? So first practice. Practiquen tal cual está acá. Omitamos el, el participant C. So vamos a hacer A, B, A, B, A, B, nada más. Y luego, pues, terminan la conversation como los situaciones reales con las que ustedes se enfrentan día a día. I design, I make designs, I print designs, yes. I deliver tickets, somebody says, okay. So I plan the menu, I cook meals, yes. I get the merchandise or I by raw material, I acquire raw material, dependiendo con lo que ustedes realmente les toque hacer. Is this clear? Está claro? Clear as to water? Yes? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Acá está, igual yo les comparto el screenshot para aquellos que no la tienen aún. Let me see, vamos a crear nuevos grupos. Let's create in pairs again. Hmm, let's see. Vamos a la que nos quede in pairs, of course. Ya mandó este eh, ella él la imagen. Sí, ya sí. Vamos a ver. Sí. Vale, lo vamos a ver. ¿Cuál letra quiere hacer? ¿Mm? Me da igual. Si quiere empecemos eh, una y después intercambiamos. Ok. Vale. Vale, le pregunto yo primero y, y después usted, ¿verdad? Ok, ok. Dice, what do you do on the weekend days? weekends? I start to work at one o'clock. I prepare the ma machines and... 
Son tres personas, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Ella dijo que omitiéramos la letra C. Sí. Que solo la es C, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Vaya, entonces la B dice. ¿Y cuál? ¿Cómo se dice aquí? I cuál? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo diría aquí ¿Cuál? esta? esta ¿Cómo bueno, se traduce? Es, aquí está la mis Preguntemos. Hola, Ali. What say actually? Actually. Actually. Actually es como en realidad, a decir verdad. Actually. 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 What do you do on, week, on weekdays? I start to work one o'clock, I prepare all the machines. En la palabra que, que está a la... Ok, actually. Es como, en, sí, en realidad, a decir verdad, de hecho. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. All right. Entonces dice, actually, así es. Actually. <risa> actually. No, así como, ajá, ok. Actually. Actually. Uh -huh. Actually, he checks on some much oh, y esta on le dice once ¿cómo, cómo se pronuncia once once a month y one once mm -hmm. ah ok entonces actually he checks one a month mm -hmm. and what about you what do you do entonces aquí separamos la c porque no verdad mm -hmm. Entonces o sea, nos practiquemos y después tendríamos que responder. O sea, la parte una... de la C que la haga la B, como está respondiendo. Hola, hola, ah, ¿quién, quién, ah, o sea, quien no acabe de decir alguna parte la puede hacer. La puede decir. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Bye. Bye, entonces sería yo will. Will. Well. Will. Well. Ok. Entonces, tenemos que quizás es, escribir lo que vamos a decir, ¿verdad? Porque ya contestaríamos lo que nosotros hacemos. Ajá, lo que nosotros hacemos realmente. Uh -huh. Si so, quieres. Well, I check. No. Well, I did, in the morning, I share emails. ¿Cómo ah, era ¿cómo? programar reuniones? Ajá, aquí como que dice que haces tú los fines de semana, así es, ¿verdad? No, 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 eh, al final dice como, ¿y qué hay sobre ti? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces tú? Y entonces... Ajá, pero, eh, ajá, no, pero yo me refiero a que como tenemos que practicarlo desde el principio. Ah, Bye. No. Por decir algo, yo le pregunto, ¿qué tú haces los fines de semana? Entonces... Eh, no fines de el, semana, son días de semana. Son días de semana. Quieres trabajar a la una en punto. Preparar y supongo que ahí tenemos que agregar algo. Nosotros, ajá. Después, por eso se dijo computer. Ajá, tal vez se me ocurrió. Y, Después, ¿qué? Actualmente, ¿o qué será actual? Eh, Actually, es como en realidad. El... Ah. Ah, en realidad. Eh, uh -huh. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Él chequea. Actually. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Actually. 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 Amor. Yes. Amor. Bueno, entonces yeah. ahora, ahora usted es la A. Ah, correcto. What do you do on weekdays? I start to work at one o'clock. I y prepare, prepare, prepare the main matches and en en report lo vamos a poner. <laughs> Actually, he checks once a month. And what about you? What do you do? Finish. Finish. <laughs> 
Mira, ¿Todavía ah, me mejor. escucha cortado? No, ya la escucho mejor. Ah, vaya. Después. Ya de... casi voy a tener buena señal. Ah, vaya. I start to work at one o'clock and prepare the machines and... Wow, when does your supervisor check and the things you do? Actually, he checks once a month. And what about you? What do you do? Well, I check the emails. <laughs> Okay. Empezamos el... Vaya. Para... Nos vamos las tres, te vas a ir en el set tú. Ajá. Vale. What do you do on what weekends day? I start to work at one o'clock. I prepare the machine and I take a order. Well, when does your supervisor check? And the things you do. Actually, he checks once a month. And what about you? What do you do? Well, I customer service. Is that you? Okay. Empezas tú, Marcy. Okay. Pero voy a, a hablar de lo que sea. De lo que okay. hacemos, ¿verdad? Ajá, creo que sí. De lo que hacemos realmente. Ajá. Yo sería la C ahora, vea. Y Mónica sería, ah, no. Mónica sería la B y yo sería la C. ¿Cómo es? Ajá. Uh -huh. What do you do on weekdays? I start to work at 11. I am um, prepared um, a clear um, check emails. Wow, when does your supervisor check all the things to you? Actuality checks and today. Uh, and what about you? What do you do? Well, I check email and I take documents. I read documents. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Um, comienzo. Lo que es Um, a estudiar, por ejemplo, estudio. Ahí, ahí está. Y de allí, ahí, ahí está, y de ahí, um, relax. De relax. Ok. Bueno, le hago yo preguntas a usted. Ajá. Eh, Cambiamos a literal B. O siempre de las de lo que es literal la, durante la eh, semana. Sí, es que del B no hay. No Pero hay. podría ser, what do you do eh, on weekends? I, I prepare my daughter. Uh -huh. I start to work. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, así lo voy a dejar. Ay, como ya es, es and... su propia información. Ajá, and I start to work. What time? <risa> Only qué? <risa> solo en la calle, ¿cómo sería? Solo en la calle. In the street. 
No. Ajá. In the street. Pero... In the street. Ajá. In the street. Pero only, en inglés no sería. Only on the street. Only street. Only on the street. <laughs> only on the street. <laughs> only. Um, yo no salgo cómo sería yo. Only... Pasa en la I piscina. Only... Ajá. No, I fish. don't go out. Ajá, uh -huh. I don't go. I don't go out. Eh, son hacer mandados. Sometimes. Run errands. ¿Cómo? Run, como de correr. Run ah, okay. errands. Or I do errands. No me van a andar haciendo mandados. Pay bills. Buy groceries. And stuff like that. Ok. Mm -hmm. Sí. I do errands. Maybe one a day, one once, una vez, once una vez week. al día. No, once. una vez al día. Once every day. Ajá. Uh -huh. Once um, a day. Only go a market for the. Por <laughs> <For> breakfast. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. This customer, I make payment in bank only in the street. Ah. Only in the street. <laughs> But you don't do it on the street, probably in a gas station, in a cafe. Ah. Uh -huh. Exactly. No, because on the street is too dangerous. In a shopping center, in a shopping mall. <laughs> During the day, emails send send emails. Um, Monica, I and what about you? What do you do? But it's the same. <laughs> I say I say that. Uh, I always. I don't know what happened with my day and I sometimes I prepare the products, the products or go for shopping uh, some materials, materials uh, or I prepare design or I have a meeting. Okay. 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 Empiezo yo hoy. Bye. What do you do on weekend, weekdays? I start to work at 11 a.m. Um, prepare. 11 p.m. I am. I'm prepare. And documents, take email, take WhatsApp. Wow, when does your supervisor check all the things to you? Actually, he checks um, every day. Mm -hmm. And what about you? What do you do? What do you do? Sí, yo vea. Bueno, Ajá. Let's see. My goodness, my dog is so noisy. 
Bien, vamos a double check the attendance the second time. <laughs> Son ronquidos. Exactly. She's always sleeping when I'm teaching at night. She's descarada. I know. <laughs> and you have, have it right there? Yeah, I don't show it to you because they are um, going to get called out for, because of the video. But if not, one day I'm going to show it to you without the video. <laughs> Damaris. Eunice. No, no se unió Damaris. Well, we have Norma, Celia, Claudia, Concepción, Damaris. No? Maybe she's the one that says that she's 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 sick. Elsie is here. Ever not here, right? It is not here. Oh, she's having some issues with the work, I guess. Okay, Joanna, Michelle. Tampoco se nos ha unido. Well, Juan Ramon, Judith, Carla, here, Lizette, Marcela. Yes, Mariana. Marina, Marina Jazz is here. Mirna is here, right? Mirna, hello. No la escucho, Miss Mirna, pero sí la vi por ahí. ¿Con quién estaba Miss Mirna? Con nadie. Aquí está, Mirna dice. Conmigo estaba. Ajá. Creo que tiene problemas de conexión. Estos internet companies. <laughs> Monica, también estaba Monica, ¿verdad? Present, yes. Hi. <laughs> Tania. Tania, Tania. Present. Hi. Thank you. Vamos a actualizar la second attendance. Vaya. Ok, perfect. Veamos. El group number one era... Laura, aquí está. <laughs> thank aquí. you, thank you, Miss. Estoy, Mirna. Sí, thank you. Ya le... Es que tengo ya, mala señal. Sí, don't worry, ya le pusimos ahí. Ok, bueno. Gracias. Group number one, Juan en Mirna. Vamos a ver cómo les quedó la conversation. Cuente. Lights, cameras. <laughs> Are you ready? Miss Mirna, to practice with Mr. Escalante. Creo que no se lo va a permitir su señal, vale, lo vamos a dejar para después. Number two, en el grupo number two estaba Mariana, no sé si Mariana estuvo sola. Mariana, tell me. Hi, Mariana. Uh, hi. Did you practice with another person? No, teacher. Me comentaba que me siento, me siento un poco mal de salud y solo estoy por oyente. Okay, don't worry. So it was Gracias. you. Pensé que era Damaris quien se sentía mal. I'm sorry. Que no tengo todos los names registrados en WhatsApp. All right. Thank you. Veamos. Room number three. Claudia and Judith. Did you practice? Yes, we did. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Lights, cameras, action. <laughs> um, what do you do on weekdays? Um, Vuelvame a repetir, por favor. Repeat the question, please. What do you do on weekdays? Um, I am, I am este, working, working in Washington. I am, I am working in the one o'clock. In the afternoon, uh, five o'clock. Mm. 
Mirna. Hola. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi. It's not the, yeah, the, the conversation, right? It's the, our activities. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can adapt it to the conversation, yes. Okay. Ahora le pongo yo. Bien. What do you do on with the week day? I get up early uh, for work and I start work at eight. I finish at five. And then I return to my house to make dinner and start the class of English. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. Okay. Those claps. <laughs> All right. Nice. That was the group number three, Claudia and Judith. Veamos. Group number four. Ahí teníamos a Concepción. Concepción, who was your partner? Tania. Tania. Are you ready? Hello. Are you ready, Tania? No. Oh, yes, it was quick. Maybe. She had a problem with yes. internet. Yes. That's what I see. Veamos otro grupo que esté completo. Milagro en Carla Sofía. It was complete. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Actually, ya vamos a empezar con esas palabras, okay? Well, <laughs> what do you do on the weekdays? Um, I start to work at 8 o'clock and the, I turn on the laptop and check messaging for orders. Um, only. <laughs> only. Only. And, and me, I start to work in night I am, night I am. I check two emails, check the orders. Y, uh, perdón, perdón. Perdí la, 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 la captura. Don't worry. <laughs> and, La otra pregunta, wow, wow, when do, when does you supervisor check all the things you do? Uh, actually, uh, she check on once a week. Well, <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> actually, <laughs> she checks a one. A once, check a one a once a week. Once a week. Yes. And who's the supervisor, Carla? <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> Está aquí esa persona. Yes. <laughs> Yo vi las caras. I saw those faces. Ay, ya eh, la ataron. And next uh, question. And what about you? What, what do you do? Mm -hmm. eh... Well, pero eso ya lo vi. Ajá, ahí en caso de que hubiese alguien más. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. if, if solo eran ustedes dos, ya habían expresado lo que hacen. Don't worry. Okay. Nice. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Preocupada, ¿qué más hago? <laughs> okay. What else? Veamos. Miss Celia, al final, ¿con quién terminó practicando? Pues Marcela. Oh, yes, true. En Mónica. En Mónica, que la tuvimos que cambiar, ¿verdad? Ok, nice. ¿Ready? ¿Lo van a hacer así entre las tres o en pairs? Mm -hmm. 
No, las tres está bien. Las tres. Perfect. One, two, one, two, three. What do you do on what week's day? I, I start used... to work. Kiba. Uh... <laughs> no, <laughs> I start. I start to work. Um, eleven a.m. and prepare. Um, uh, documents. Check emails. Check WhatsApp. Wow. When does your supervisor check all of that thing do you do? Actuality, he check every day. And what about you? What do you do? Well, I'm star at work at uh, A or A uh, in a half. In a half? In a half. Uh, a m. I go for shopping to product for for the materials for for the art and then I go to the art and check what happened with the day because we never know what happened with the day. <laughs> <laughs> you check the agenda to see what's on the menu for today. What people then then much urgent? <laughs> I don't know what to say. It. What's the most urgent orders? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. That's it. Alguien más que que haya estado en un breakout room que que esté completo. Norma and Jancy. Okay. Ready? Yes. All right. Here we go. Okay, and what do you do on weekends, Jancy? Mm. Okay, um, on weekdays I go to work. I start to work at 8 a.m. I check my email and have report. Um, my supervisor check my work once a month and finish the work at 5 p.m. and return my house at 6 p.m. I have dinner and receive my class English at 8 p.m. Wow, when did you supervise <laughs> check on one side of you? <laughs> um, so he goes down and let me go to what do you do, um, Norma? We stay Norma. Um, and I get up early, so early. I start to go at um, eight o'clock. Um, everyone get ready. At the customer meals. Um, solution problems every day um, in the afternoon uh, sometimes I go to shopping for the company um, I have many many occupation in I go home uh, um, uh, five and club in the night I have my English class and finish uh, my day eleven o'clock. I go my bed so tired. <laughs> Only. Nice, good job. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> claps, claps for everybody. Excellent. You are very hardworking people, definitely. 
Okay. Wow, you... pregunta, creo, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Probably you, you don't have a supervisor to check your work. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So everybody has a supervisor? Um no, some people no. are the supervisor. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, great. All right, everybody participated? I guess it's okay. No? That's it? Sure? Not cheating. <laughs> oh my God, wait a second. Cheating is trampa? Como se trampa? That would be cheating. Cheating. Not cheating. Not cheating. Mm -hmm. el trampa también en los exámenes? Es cheating. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Ok. Spell cheering. C H. Se lo pongo en el chat. C H E A T I N G. Cheating. Casi parecido como chatting, pero chatting es de chatear, ¿verdad? pero este es cheating. De hecho, la acción es cheat, nada más, hasta la T, pero como ya se vuelve un noun, el hecho de que copiar, ¿verdad? Copia, copia, ajá, se va a hacer trampa, se le agrega la ING. Por ejemplo, si usted le quiere decir, no copie, don't cheat. Mm. <ríe> uh -huh. Exactly. You're welcome. Ok, bueno. y aquí muchos nos contaron su agenda diaria, ¿verdad? Y algunos que no saben qué va a suceder cada día. <laughs> There's always something new. Ah, actually, that makes some jobs interesting because you don't have a routine, you don't get bored, <laughs> you cannot predict what's going to happen. Pero para otros que no somos así como tan espontáneos y que necesitamos más tener como más definido qué es lo que vamos a hacer, sí, al inicio cuando, tenemos, cuando nos topamos con este tipo de job, como un poco estresante, ¿verdad? Porque ah, esa inseguridad que no sabemos qué es lo que va a pasar. So, para el caso, les voy a mostrar lo que presenta el manual. Esta es una de las screenshots, pero obviamente yo no sé, me copio. Si yo me muevo al documento de la PowerPoint al PDF, también se mira, right? ¿Sí lo saben bien? Right. Thank God. Yo pensé que tenía que volver a dejar de compartir, volver a compartir. But it's okay. So, esta es la agenda de esta chica. Mrs. Rubble's agenda, dice. Okay, ask for and say the time of activities of our workplaces. Como decir, quizás no es que tengamos un schedule, o sea, tan definido, pero entre las actividades que nos tocan hacer, ¿cuáles son las que más se repiten? O por lo menos a las horas que ya sabemos que a esa hora es lunchtime, o que a esa hora debo entrar a trabajar, o que a esa hora ya salgo de trabajar, y ese tipo de cosas, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a ver. De acuerdo a esta chica, Mrs. Rubble's Agenda, dice que at 7.15, ¿qué es lo que tiene? Yes. Meeting with reunión con el departamento de marketing. O sea, meeting with the marketing department. At 8.30. Video call with the supervisor from West Company. Video call with a supervisor from West Company at nine. Workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. Workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. Aquí como que ella le da un taller, sí, con el departamento de desarrollo para mejorar los procesos de manufactura. Ok. At 12. Workshop 
lunch. lunch. Eh, sería el lunch del workshop. O sea, ahí paran, hacen una pausa para almorzar con el, a mí, parte del workshop. O la gente que está atendiendo, la gente que está participando. En el grupo de personas. Exacto. Uh, en este caso, que serían los empleados del Departamento de Desarrollo, ¿verdad? Del Development sí. Department, ¿sí? Que están participando en el taller. And at 1.45. Second part of the workshop. Ah, no. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Second, Second part, part of, of the workshop. workshop. Ajá. Entonces, okay. tienen casi dos horas prácticamente para el lunch. Y a las 1.45, luego regresan para continuar con la segunda parte del workshop. At 5.55. Send tomorrow. Send tomorrow's schedule to Miss Lopez, who is the new secretary, and leave. So practically, eh, todo el día en el workshop, right? Desde las 9 hasta las 6 de la tarde. So. Questions? Repeat. Is should it? schedule 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 gracias no problem schedule have you say una cuarenta y cinco one forty five puede ser así literal one forty five or a quarter to two <laughs> solo que cuando hacemos así como faltan tantos para la siguiente hora eh, a veces a la gente le cuesta como hacer un poco las cuentas, digamos. Por ejemplo, 45, ¿cuánto falta para las dos? Un cuarto. 15 minutos, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos hacer a quarter to two o 145. Más formal decirlo así, 145. En el caso de esto que es una agenda, ¿verdad? Vaya, basándonos en esta agenda de la señora, de Mrs. Robles o Mrs. Robles. Hay que y este es problema, espero que si la deje de dejar en español. Vamos a contestar estas preguntas. Read the information again to answer the questions. Compare with the partner. What time is the video call with the watch company? What time does the workshop with the research department start? What time does the company close? Son tres, three questions only. No sé si ya tienen este... El manual, si no, igual le voy a compartir para que les puedan responder. Vamos a hacerlo en el mismo grupo donde estábamos. If not, I check. All right. All right. All right. <coughs> las dos imágenes sí ya mandé las dos ¿Ya leyó la conversación, Mirna, o, o la leemos antes de contestar? No, leamos la Porque sí tengo mala señal ahora. Si quiere, la leo yo. Eh, por Dice, favor. Dice, eh, Mr. Robles, Agenda. Uh -huh. La agenda. Eh, 
Voy a empezar. Sí. Eh, at 7.30, I get out, I go out. It's night. It's night. Night, uh -huh. night I am. Night clock. It's night. And what time does the company close? Fifth. Fifth. Fifteen. Come on, fifth. Five. No, five. 555. 555. <laughs> At 60. 55. 55. Mm -hmm. PM. But I don't know if I say in uh, answer. Uh, the company closed at 5.55 p.m. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> <Pues sí. laughs> the company Cierra la compañía, ¿verdad? Ajá, ¿qué hora cierra la compañía? Entonces... Ah. Pero, bueno, ahí lo podríamos deducir cuando ella envía la agenda. Ajá, porque termina, yeah. dice que envía a las 5.55. Podemos decir que probably eh, cierran a las sí. 6, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Probably, ¿cómo se escribe probablemente? Mm, probably. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank Pero hemos asumido bien. Yes. Eso es algo. Miss. Yes. Hemos asumido bien que sería a las seis. Mm -hmm. Yes, probably. <risa> no, ajá, de hecho sí. Está bien. Probably a las seis. Probably yeah. at six o'clock. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, 86 Ah, porque dice 5.55. Mandar por la mañana. El señor López. Entonces, en lo que preparan los todo, en lo que preparan las cosas, se hacen las seis. Ajá. What is that? Uh -huh. The company close 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Close. 6 p.m. Entonces, ¿cómo, le, ¿cómo quedó close company? The close. The, no. The close. The, no, the company close. Six. The company closed 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes. O'clock o 6 p.m. Ah, 6 o'clock. Ah, cuando era en punto, ¿verdad? Dijo que era. Mm -hmm. Cuando era en punto. Mm -hmm. Y si aplica porque es el cierre de un establecimiento. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Para no decir, bueno, creo que se podía decirle de las dos formas, ¿verdad? El pie sí, o el o'clock. Sí, de las dos formas. Vale, entonces la primera pregunta, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo les quedó? Um, What time okay, is the video speak. call with the worst company? <coughs> mm -hmm. The video call 
with the first company is at 8.30. Entonces sería 8.10, o sea, sería las... Pero esto lo, lo vamos a hacer nosotros como nosotros pensemos, no, no como no. la información con la información porque ahí en, en la imagen anterior <coughs> sale que las 8:30 en la dice video call with the supervisor when, when, from West Company es lo que están preguntando. Ajá. Entonces, Entonces la, aquí tenemos nosotros. Eh, la respuesta sería, vaya, la pregunta es what time is the video call with the co West Company? Ajá. Uh -huh. De video ¿A qué call? hora es el video de la compañía? Uh -huh. Es la videollamada. Es la videollamada. Uh -huh. Ajá. De... Entonces ponemos a las... ¿Cómo se dice? Ey, Terry. ¿En Terry? Ajá. ¿En Terry o Claude? No. I am o'clock. 8.30. Ajá. The video call is at 8.30. 8.30. Uh -huh. Solo el ahora. No decimos o'clock ni an an. Es que o'clock significa en punto. En punto. Entonces, ah, por vale. ejemplo, Entonces... cuando es 9, eh, 8, si fuera las 8, es 8, 8 o'clock. Ah, vale. Ajá. Uh -huh. Horas vale. exactas. Uh -huh. Ajá, correcto. Vaya, what time la does, does the workshop with vale. the research department start? There, there is a recruitment of the new employees. In, ay, no, a mí eso me cuesta. Recruitment. <laughs> Vaya, este, entonces quedaría la primera. What time is, is the video call with the con, West Company? Sería it's a sorti a.m. Sorti a.m. Sorti a.m. ¿Cómo sería a? 8.30. 8.30 a.m. 30 a.m. Eh, la otra, what time is the workshop with the research department start? It's a nine. 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 Mm -hmm. La otra. What time does the company close? Dijimos que at about 6 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> about 6 p.m. Yeah. Uh, oh, 7 p.m. <laughs> Esperando una hora. Okay. <laughs> ya terminé. <laughs> Suele pasar. Um, no sería. Uh, a mí me pasa que hay trabajo que me voy a tardar más de lo que, que tengo que esperar. Entonces Ajá. tengo que no dejarlo a media. Sino que terminarlo. No terminarlo o dejarlo esperar. Thanks tomorrow, discussion to Miss López. Sí, pero creo que sí podemos dejar at, at, about, at about 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. At about. At about.
Okay. Done. Yes. Yes. All right. Sorry about my dog sleeping, okay? <laughs> Ay, no. <laughs> Al patio la voy a mandar. All right. <laughs> there we have Mrs. Robles' agenda. Meeting with the marketing department, department sorry, at 7.15. Video call with the supervisor from West Company at 8.30. Workshop to the research and development department improve, to improve the manufacturing process at 9. Workshops launch at 12. Second part of the workshop at 1.45. And send the, tomorrow's schedule to Ms. Lope, the new secretary, and leave at 5.55. 5 to 6, right? Uh -huh. You will give me the answers. Let's see. What time is the video call with the West Company? Mm -hmm. The video call with the West Company. Uh huh. Is at a thirty. Is at a thirty. 8.30, all right, early, <laughs> it's at 8.30, yes, is that clear, yes, what yes. time does the workshop with the research department start, uh -huh. the workshop, the workshop is start at Starts nine o'clock at nine o'clock. Nice. Okay. And look at the start. Donde I came for me. I'm sorry. Ah. Wait, wait a minute. Algo está mal con mi teclado. <laughs> the workshop starts. Travated, eh? At nine, right? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yes. Okay. What time does the company close? Probably. Probably. Most eight six o'clock. Probably the company close closes closes at six p.m. Six p.m. At six o'clock or at six p.m. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Okay. We just practice. Okay. Let me can only start hand of compartment fully. One second. Yes, right here. Okay. There we go. Okay, we just finished with this exercise. Uh huh. We have some other exercises right here. Tratar de esconder aquí el menu porque no me deja ver nada. Here. Ah, vamos a ver si nos aprendimos el reloj. <laughs> no teacher ni en Spanish. It happens sometimes, por eso tenemos de numeritos. What time does he get up? Aquí está la respuesta. He gets up at 6 o'clock. What time does he have breakfast? Mm -hmm. He had breakfast at six, seven o'clock. Yeah, he has breakfast at seven, at seven o'clock, right? 
All right. That's correct. Yes? Yes. Next, what time does he go to school? He goes seven. 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 Fifteen. Seven, fifteen? <laughs> yes. Dudando, me lo dice. He goes to school. <laughs> Oh, the right. It's because it's, it, this clock is in English. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He goes to school at seven fifteen. Otra forma de decirlo is at seven and a quarter, or a quarter after seven, or a quarter past seven. Hay muchas formas de decir lo mismo en cuanto a la hora. Es como en español. Te dice, ah, a las 7 y 15. No, a las 7 y cuarto. Un cuarto después de las 7. ¿Ya? O 15 después de las 7. Todas esas formas existen también en inglés. Bueno, vamos a quedar con una sola para no estresarnos. Ok. <laughs> Because it's kind of late already. What time does he have lunch? He has yes. lunch at lunch, lunch at 11 o'clock. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. What time no. does he go home? She bath. He, he goes home. He, oh, he goes. He goes. He goes home. He goes home uh, at four. Four o'clock. At four o'clock. Pero en este caso también, como les explicaba, puede decir he returns. He goes back um, home. Yes? He returns. returns. Esa es la, esa también son válidas, ¿verdad? He goes home, he returns home, he comes back home, he goes back home at four. Yes? Back. What time do home. they have dinner? Mm. Yeah. They, they have dinner. Uh, Seven. Okay. Um, they have dinner seven. No. Seven. at seven. At seven o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. At seven p.m. probably. Okay. Done. Questions? No questions? No questions. Sure. No questions. Bye. Ok. El último exercise. Aquí ya están las respuestas. No es que ustedes las van a, a crear. Simplemente van a buscar el match. Ok. Por ejemplo, what time do you get up? I have breakfast at 6:30. No puede ser la, number, la letter A, ¿verdad? She yes. goes to school at 7:15. Tampoco. Les yes. hablo, what time do you get up? Entonces. Tiene que buscar cuál de estos. It's Letter F. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Exacto, porque la pregunta es, what time do you get up? Ok, veamos. Y ahorita se las comparto para que lo puedan resolver en un santiamén, pero necesito que trabajen con alguien más. Así que vamos a crear menos grupos. Recreate, open, go. Ok, entonces, a dos, what time does she go to school? She goes to school at 7.16. B. B. A la par está. B. 
What do you do in the afternoon? I play football in the afternoon. I play. <laughs> See. See. What time does he go home? He goes home at five o'clock. H. What time is it? If night for him, D. What do you do in the afternoon? Ya estoy aquí. <laughs> <risa> ya, para descargar la imagen sí, pues. ¿Por cuál número va, perdón? En la 3 What, no, no, no. You, do What do you do in the afternoon? In the afternoon mm. Podemos sí. Espera. Voy a poner esto de otro lado Vaya Entonces haga usted la 1 y yo hago la 2 sí. Vaya uh -huh. O vamos, bueno, sí, 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 está bien. What time do you get up? Um, I watch TV in the evening. Mm -hmm. And the first, <laughs> what well, the time first, do you get up? Ah, uh, F. 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 Mm -hmm. To B. What time does she go to school? Sería la B. Number three, what do you do in the afternoon? Eh, sí, I play football in the afternoon. Thank you. <laughs> I'm old. No, ¿cómo era? Alone. It's old. <laughs> It's old. In, no in group. Ah? It's old, no sería? No. No, está alone. Alone. Ah. <laughs> In group with me. <laughs> alone. Entonces, ¿qué haría? If, F, P. C. F, P, C. H. H, D. Ajá. E, G. E, G, A. Ay, 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 Finish. Finish. Yes. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Esta estaba easy peasy, ¿verdad? Easy. <laughs> Very easy. Easy, easy. Bye. Oh, sí. Okay. What time do you get up? Ya lo habíamos resuelto, right? That was letter. If, if, if I get up if. at six o'clock in the morning, okay. What time does she go to school? Let us go to a school at seven five. B. She goes to school at seven fifteen. Sixteen. What do you do in the afternoon? I play football in the afternoon. C. I play football in the afternoon. Letter C. Simple. What time does he go home? Eight. He goes home he at goes five o'clock. Eight. He goes home at five o'clock. Yeah. What time is it? It's nine forty. B. <laughs> it's nine forty. Actually, it's almost ten. <laughs> okay. What time does Ben have lunch? 
He has lunch at 11 o'clock. Very early, right? Okay. He has lunch at 11 o'clock. What time does Rosie have dinner? She has dinner at 7 o'clock. She has dinner at 7 o'clock. What time do you have breakfast? I have, I have breakfast at 6 30. Very early at 6 30. I have breakfast at 6 30, like me sometimes. When I am driving, I'm having my breakfast. <laughs> what do you do in the evening? I watch, I watch TV, TV in the evening. I receive English classes in the evening. <laughs> 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 yes, says Marcela. All right. Questions. I have a question that has surgido de todo esto. It was very familiar. No? No. Clear. 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 Nice. Veamos. A quien le toca esta noche, tonight, <laughs> to stay for 10 minutes. Oh my God. Last attendance, please. Ya nadie se nos incorporó, ¿verdad? Veamos, Norma, Celia, Claudia, Concepción, Damaris, Elsie, Ever. La hora pasada, Mr. Ever. Iris, Joanna, Juan Ramón, Judith, Carla, Lisset, Marcela, Mariana, Marina, Mirna, Mónica, Tania. So, tuvimos three absences. Ever, Iris, Joanna, and Damaris. Ok. Great. So, ayer se quedó con nosotros Carla. Lisset? Is Lisset here? Tamarilis? Lisset Tamarilis? Gone. <laughs> ya no está, entonces Marcela. <laughs> yes, Marcela. Yes. After Lisa is Marcela. Yes, Marcela will stay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good night. Enjoy. Relax. <laughs> is Jancy your partner? No. <laughs> no, she's not. No, she's not. Uh, okay. How are you, Marcella? I'm really tired today. <laughs> I believe you. Yes, it's Thursday. <laughs> it's almost the end of the week. Ah, uh, yes. yes. I need when... a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I need a long weekend. A long True. This Sunday. Yes. Because the... Saturday? Saturday I work. <laughs> you work all day? No. Until noon? Uh, uh, sometimes to uh, noon. At noon? Uh, sometimes I go after four or... Almost all day. Almost. <laughs> Almost all day, yes. Because if you work on Saturday until three or four, yeah. After that, what can you do? But we lunch, relax, and then continue to work. <laughs> All right, this, nice. Uh, it's not that hard as the weekdays. It's more relaxing. Yes, more relaxed. But and Sundays, the friends go for the uh, office, for, for lunch, for speak. Yeah, nice. So on Sundays, you never go? No, I never go. But sometimes I go to decorate for the events. Uh huh. Events. And you live near the office. I no. I I have everything with me, and I go, I don't go for the office. <laughs> <laughs> but it's near or far. In Samuel. Everything is near. Everything is near. <laughs> <laughs> so, you like to go on Sundays to decorate? Yes. Nice. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes, it depends. Eventually. Right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If you have other activities, of course, you say, I can't. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. sometimes I I don't care. <laughs> I, don't. I don't want to go. Yes. Nice. That's great. All right. What happened with Rekal? <laughs> Maybe she thinks we're still in class. Uh -huh. Hey, Raquel. Yeah, just gone. <laughs> Disappear. Yeah. So, do you have any question or something that you need uh, that I explain again? I always confuse does and do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Keep it like this. Probably what worked for me would work for you. When I was learning English, I always say I, you, we, they. I, you, we, they, do. He, she, it, does. And it's the same for always. When there is a change, for he, she, it is different. But I, you, we, they do, right? So when you have the subject, the company, so it's not a he, it's not a she, it's not I, it's not we, it's not they, it's it, right? Because this is, I think, the most difficult pronoun to identify. Because sometimes they say, um, the office, the office is not I, it's not you, it's not he, she. it's not she, it's it, right? When it when it refers to situations, for example, they say uh, the meeting, a meeting or the meeting. So the meeting is an occasion, right? So it's a situation, so it's it also, yeah. So what time does the meeting finish what time does the meeting start mm -hmm. i have a problem with uh memorization more than a pronunciation anything yes <laughs> <laughs> yes because pronunciation sometimes you just imitate yes. and there you go exactly mm -hmm. it's easier it comes more natural right and did you study english before yes and that's why you have some vocabulary it's easy for you and to i understand. like so much to travel have you traveled yes where like so much um tell me all south america <laughs> south america yes and the last vacation mm -hmm. i go for europe, europe. you went to europe, europe. nice that was america every country uh, almost, almost, almost every country. No, me faltaron tres. <laughs> <laughs> but it's almost every country in South America. Yeah. You yeah. just missed three. Which three? Uh, Venezuela, Bolivia, y no, only two. Only two. Why? No, didn't... three. Paraguay. Paraguay. Why? Why didn't you go to Venezuela, Bolivia, and Paraguay? Uh, Venezuela for the situation because of the political situation. Uh -huh. Yes, Bolivia? And Bolivia. I don't know. Never. Go. It doesn't call your but attention. Maybe in the in future. Future. Mm -hmm. Because I like the desierto. The desert. 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 Mm -hmm. um, in Paraguay. Paraguay. I don't know what happened when Paraguay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you don't. I'm you not don't, interested. You're not interested uh -huh, in knowing anything from Paraguay. Wow. What was the I best? I go for. Uh, I live in Argentina. Uh -huh. Really? <laughs> that that was the best. No. <laughs> what is the Brazil. best? Brazil. Brazil is the best. Well, all people have a different parts Opinion. important uh -huh. but brazil it's top <laughs> so that's the one that you like the most yes and i live city? in brazil too really you are yes. an international person marcela yeah. <laughs> yes <laughs> how long how long did you live in argentina and how long did you live in brazil in argentina five years for five years because i study my in career Argentina. In Buenos Aires? Yes. I have a friend in the province of Jujuy. 
Ah. Her name is Paola. I met yeah. her in the United States when we started a, a program for international teachers. Oh. Mm -hmm. She lives there. I have a friend also from, from Venezuela, but I don't know anything about her anymore. I don't know what happened. She wanted to she wanted to move away. She wanted to go to Mexico because her sister already lived in Mexico because escaping of the situation. So, mm -hmm. I have more uh, friends in Venezuela and they go for the work. <laughs> yeah, they go anywhere. They even yes. come to El Salvador. I used to have some students from Venezuela in another institution. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in Brazil, how long did you live? I live uh, in two occasions. Uh, in the first time for a, a I don't say a that. year, a month. No, uh, for studies. No, for interchange. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for an exchange program. Mm -hmm. I have only for two months for two months mm -hmm. and the second time uh, three months for three months and three months. what city uh, san pablo it's san pablo but uh i no sé cómo se dice como un distrito de san pablo okay so uh, a province or a state from a province san pablo. And they pronounce Sao Paulo or Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo. Right. So did you learn to speak Portuguese? No. <laughs> <laughs> but when, I understand. I understand everything. Yes. Right. Because I, uh, the second time, I don't have anything speaking Spanish. Really? I live with a family who spoke only Brazil. Portuguese. Oh my God, that's really adventurous. Yes, and my a little bit English and my... <laughs> I use it every day. <laughs> nice. Yes. And in Europe? In Europe only for the vacation. But where did you go in Europe? Uh, when? Where? Which country? Where? Amsterdam, uh, uh, Roma. Rome. It, uh, Amsterdam uh, is the Netherlands, right? Yes, Netherlands. Uh -huh. And Rome, Italy? Italy, uh, Roma. Mm -hmm. And other city, uh, uh, Flo uh, Firenze. Firenze. Florencia. Florencia, <laughs> that is also Rome. I mean, in Italy. Yes, Italy. Uh -huh. Only two countries. Another time I go for England. You went to England? Yes. Uh, and there Paris. you and Paris. In Paris, in France. Only yes, because they Paris. say that whenever you go to to Europe, you can go to any country. Yes, but when I go the first time, I am 16 years. Ah, with your parents. No, for interchange. Really? For speak English. <laughs> <laughs> And how long did you stay? <laughs> but I confused more <laughs> because English the human is different. very different. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got more confused. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I have class in the morning and in the night in the after in the at night or in the no. evening, the afternoon? No. In the tarde? <laughs> in the afternoon. In the afternoon I go with all my friends in speaking in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's nice. I really uh, admire the fact that you have traveled a lot. That's yeah. really nice. But you always live in San Miguel. Yes. Nice. Well, uh, one time I live in San Salvador for the study. For study too. In San Miguel, you study at the University of the Oriente. What is the name of the university in San Miguel? Or oh, you never study in San Miguel at the university? You ne I never study. In oh, university. really? So you study at, in San Salvador and then in Argentina? I go in Argentina. Wow, that's really nice. And you got a program or you just paid the university in Argentina? I pay. 
but uh, it's the same because Argentina is cheap. Really? Really nice. cheap. Okay. If you have a dollar. Yeah, of course. But if yes. you live there, no. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible. Nice. Well, wonderful. I didn't know it. And, and then, obviously, in this level, you understand everything. <laughs> no, I I forget some, some vocabulary. Some vocabulary. Yeah, yes, it's true. Yeah, there's always an opportunity to learn, definitely. Yes. yes. Okay. I and think I'm gonna start again. from the beginning. Yes. Uh, yes. Even though uh, communicative English is a bit different because of the vocabulary, this is more for work, right? So it's focus on the working environment, but that's great because we learn how to say different things. Okay, nice. And well, your dog is a poodle? <laughs> no, it's it's just a French poodle, but she sleeps like <laughs> like a poodle. <laughs> ah, exactly. It's because she's very hairy. Uh, uh, I haven't had the time to take her to the vet. They, I mean, she needs to. See the coat. Shaving, yes. And whenever I take her, the vet always tell me, <laughs> yes, I don't I have, time. Uh, I have a one too. Yes, and she is a. Uh, very hairy. <laughs> yes. That's why she makes that sound. But she sleeps like crazy all the time. She's sleeping, you know. Eating, sleeping, eating, sleeping. Very That's crazy. her life. <laughs> That's her life. Okay, thank you so much, Marcella, for sharing a very interesting conversation with you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, you have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you.